Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to PurpleEagles.com. My name is Todd Callen, the radio voice of the Purple Eagles. Time to preview the men's hockey season. We're very pleased to be joined by head coach Dave Burkholder. Coach, thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for having me. Well, coach, let's talk a little bit about your staff. I know you're very proud of the efforts that you get from both Tim Madsen and Pat Oliveto. Talk about what they add to your program. Well, they were both captains here for me at Niagara, both graduated. Uh, great kids from good families and uh, you know, it, it's everything to have have a good staff, and and uh, and we get along very well, which I think uh, filters down to the team. But, you know, Tim Madsen's my recruiting coordinator. He's a road warrior. He really has a gift in regards to getting out on the road and finding talent. And and Pat's a, is a great compliment for Tim. So, very very lucky, you know, to have two guys that uh, that bleed purple. Uh, you know, there's not, nothing that a player could come up to us and, and uh, questions or situations that they haven't lived through being uh, former Niagara hockey players. So uh, I'm very lucky to have them both on staff. And coach, let's head to the ice now. Let's talk a little bit about uh, it all starts from the back end. Carson Chubak playing professional hockey now. You'll enter the season with goalies that have yet to see any NCAA time. Talk about what you're expecting between the pipes this season. Yeah, it, it might be the first time uh, that we go into a year with uh, a goaltender that doesn't have any minutes uh, in the books. But uh, you know what? We have, uh, we have three really good goaltenders. We're very deep in that position. Uh, you know, the two guys uh, that we recruited, the two freshmen, uh, Jackson Tykrobe and Adrian Ignani, very decorated junior hockey goaltenders and, uh, you know, different styles. Uh, uh, Jackson's a big six foot two kid. He's kind of a blocker. Uh, Adrian's more of a, a athletic, really quick, agile goaltender, almost out of jo uh, Jonathan Quick from Los Angeles. So two different styles, um, but they've come in with uh, their resumes are off the charts in, in regards to uh, championships and wins and that. So. Their transition to Division One hockey should be very easy, and we're confident in, in, in both of them. And, Coach, the season opens Saturday night right here at Dwyer Arena against Clarkson. You'll hang two banners, the AHA regular season title as well as the NCAA appearance banner. Talk about what last year's success meant to the program and how you look to build on that for this year. It was such a fun year. What a great team to be around. Uh, we had a lot of fun on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, Monday through Thursday when no one's around. Uh, these kids work their tails off and just to to have them to be rewarded with another championship banner and uh, getting back to the NCAA tournament is what this program's about you know we we, uh, we strive to be a to win a national championship here so very proud of of the accompli accomplishments from last year and and to be able to uh, celebrate that on Saturday is going to be pretty special and we have to talk about the streak that your team is on 22 games in a row unbeaten in this building what makes you guys so good here at Dwyer Arena? Well, I think the end zone is a big part of that. When, when this place is packed, it's a tough place to play. You know, it's, it's a smaller building, and the fans are right on top of you, so it's loud. Um, and it's, uh, you know, the support's been great for us here. And um, you know what? We try to make it a tough place to play for our opponents. We, we'll try to be very physical in, in our rink. That's been our, our MO since we started the program. So, um, yeah, this streak is alive. It's the fifth longest in, in college hockey history. So wow. if we can keep that going this weekend, that would be uh, an exceptional. And coach, last thing before we let you go, a lot of preseason rankings have the Purple Eagles at the top of the list, including your conference's preseason ranking. What have you told the team and, and how tough it will be that you are now the hunted team? People want to be where Niagara is. How do you get them ready for the other team's best every night? Well, it's a chore. You know what? It's uh, to be uh, ranked uh, in the top 20 nationally to start the year is is uh, is unbelievable. It's uh, I don't know if it means a lot uh, once the refs show up this weekend. Um, but you know what? We talked about it as a team. We handed out the poll and said, you know what? There's a lot of responsibility with being a nationally ranked team. And you, and you know what? It's uh, you need to you need to act that way. Um, you know what? Uh, I think the guys will have a little bit of swagger. I think that's their favorite word in the locker room. They have a little okay. bit of swagger when they put the Niagara jersey on, so that certainly helps. But you know what? In Atlanta hockey, it's going to be a tough chore to repeat. Um, and I don't think a preseason um, poll or preseason number one pick in Atlanta hockey has ever won the league. So, I, I, you know, so there's a little added pressure there. But we like where we are. We've had a great fall, uh, a good training camp, and uh, we'll find out this week and where we're at. Well, Coach, it does all begin this weekend. Two games here at Dwyer Arena, 7 p.m. Saturday night and then 2 p.m. Sunday afternoon against Clarkson. Coach, thanks so much for the time, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you.
Again, my name is Todd Kellen here at PurpleEagles.com. Stay tuned to PurpleEagles.com. Get all the updates and schedule information on the Niagara men's hockey team.